Welcome to JJ's Trail Review. Today I am giving two detour options for the closed Cedar Lake Trail. I started at the Hopkins Depot, took the most direct route on city streets in Hopkins and St. Louis Park to Wooddale Avenue where the trail is open again. On the way back I took a more scenic route weaving through streets of St. Louis Park including the Minnehaha Creek Greenway and going through some city streets and trails in Hopkins and Edina to join back up with the Minnesota River Bluffs Trail. So I started at the Hopkins Depot and I'm taking the most direct route on the way there to Wooddale Avenue where the permanent trail is open. Here I am crossing Excelsior Boulevard and then taking a right onto Cedar Lake Trail. You can see a pretty good image of the bridge there for the light rail and the reason the trail is currently closed. So this is Jackson Street in Hopkins and I'll take this for just a block. And then I'll go right on 2nd Street Northeast. And after a few blocks, uh, you go past Edco Products and then there's this little city trail that breaks off. This just goes for about a block. And then right onto Lake Street. Here's Crossing Lake Road. Once you get across Blake Road, this street is a little quieter and it does have a designated biking lane or at least a share the road policy. Now this is at Texas Avenue. You could go straight, but it's a little more direct if you take this little, uh, get, you can stay on Blake Street by going over that little sidewalk area. That's real quiet through here. And then right before Louisiana Avenue, there are some bike lanes that start again. A bike trail here is going around the roundabouts, crossing Louisiana Avenue. And then a right onto the Highway 7 service road. And this will pretty much complete the route there. It's a pretty direct route uh, right up to Wooddale Avenue. And then here's a shot of what will be the completed trail that will go under Wooddale Avenue eventually. So for the way back, I took a little more scenic route. I crossed the railroad tracks, and now I'm heading west along 36th Street in St. Louis Park. And here it turns left on Brunswick Avenue, and then the trail ends and you have to ride on Brunswick for about three blocks. To right on Cambridge Street. You have to take Cambridge Street because that's the only one that goes under the railroad tracks. And then another right onto Edgewood Avenue and a left onto Oxford Street. It's a very industrial area. And then here it is coming up on Louisiana Avenue. There I took a left. Then this is where you actually get off the street and back onto a trail for a little while. This is near Methodist Hospital. And this is actually brand new. They built this bridge over Minnehaha Creek a year or two ago. And this joins, this is the exit from the, uh, the street to the Minnehaha Greenway. So this is a really nice trail along Minnehaha Creek. It's fairly short, but this is a really nice option to connect the two. Here's crossing the creek. 
There are a bunch of boardwalks down here. I'm not sure if you're supposed to ride a bike on them or not, uh, but I typically stay on the paved trail. This is going behind the St. Louis Park uh, Public Works building, and there's a trailhead parking lot there also. And then the trail comes out on Meadowbrook Road, where I took a left. It's a little bit of an industrial area again. Going past Japs Olson. And this is crossing Excelsior Boulevard. It gets a little quieter after that intersection. Now this is riding along Meadowbrook Golf Course. and then taking a right on Goodrich Street. Then after a few blocks on Goodrich Street, you take a left on Blake Road. This is right by the Blake School. There's a bike lane here. And then right behind Blake School, there's actually this trail that cuts across a few city blocks. And then at the end of that trail, you cross Harrison Street and continue east, I'm sorry, continue west on 2nd Street. And then you cross Monroe Street, but continue west on 3rd Street. Just a couple of short jogs there. This is Washington Avenue. After crossing Washington Avenue and going under 169, you're on 3rd Street still in Hopkins. This is going past the old Super Value Warehouse. And then crossing the tracks and joining the River Bluffs Trail again. And here you can see the Hopkins Depot on the left.